Hello, in this video, I want to talk to you about congestive heart failure, or simply heart failure. In this condition, the heart is unable to pump enough blood into the blood vessels, which leads to various problems in the body. If you want to learn more about the causes, symptoms, treatment options, and prevention methods, stay with me. How does heart failure happen? The first thing to know is that when our heart contracts, it does not pump out all the blood inside it. Normally, about 50 to 70 percent of the blood is pumped out, which means the heart is functioning properly. The problem begins when this output gradually decreases, first mildly, then moderately, and eventually severely, until it reaches the final stage, end stage heart failure. At this point, the person becomes incapacitated, and serious health issues arise. Imagine my hand as the heart. In a healthy state, I can fully clench my fist. But if I had a joint problem, I wouldn't be able to close my fist completely, or, if I managed to close it, I wouldn't be able to open it properly due to pain. In heart failure, either the heart cannot fill up with enough blood when it relaxes, or it does not have enough strength to pump the blood out properly when it contracts. What happens when blood flow decreases? When the heart pumps out less blood, the kidneys detect this drop in blood flow and react by retaining fluid and sodium instead of excreting them. Think of someone who is bleeding, this reaction helps prevent a drop in blood volume. However, in heart failure, it causes fluid buildup in the body. If the left ventricle fails, fluid accumulates in the lungs, leading to shortness of breath. The person may struggle to breathe when lying down or wake up suddenly at night gasping for air. They may also need to urinate more than three times a night. If the right ventricle fails, fluid buildup is more noticeable in the ankles, legs, and later in the abdomen, causing swelling. Additionally, poor blood circulation affects the digestive system, leading to nutritional deficiencies. Causes of heart failure Heart failure can happen due to Heart attacks that damage parts of the heart muscle. Coronary artery disease, which reduces oxygen and nutrient supply to the heart muscle. Heart valve problems or congenital heart defects. High blood pressure, which puts long-term stress on the heart. Diabetes, which directly affects the heart muscle or impacts kidney function. Irregular heartbeats, arrhythmias over time. Certain medications, smoking, alcohol, and drug use. People over 65 years old. Those with a high-fat, high-salt diet, those who lead a sedentary lifestyle, and those with a family history of heart disease are at higher risk. Symptoms of heart failure The symptoms depend on whether the left ventricle, right ventricle, or both are affected. Left-sided heart failure Leads to fluid buildup in the lungs, causing shortness of breath and coughing. Right-sided heart failure Causes fluid retention in the lower body, leading to swollen ankles, legs, and abdomen. Other common symptoms include, frequent nighttime urination, fatigue during physical activity, digestive issues due to poor blood circulation, treatment options. In the early stages, lifestyle changes can help. Eating a healthy diet, regular exercise under medical supervision, quitting smoking, alcohol, and drug use, managing high blood pressure, diabetes, and coronary artery disease. As the condition progresses, medications are introduced. If medications are not effective, implantable devices can assist the heart. As shown in this image, a ventricular assist device VOD helps by pumping blood from the left ventricle to the aorta, reducing the heart's workload. In severe cases, a heart transplant may be necessary. Recently, an artificial heart has been developed that has kept a patient alive for over 100 days. This promising advancement could help patients survive until they receive a heart transplant. Can heart failure be prevented? Yes. Preventive measures include controlling blood pressure and diabetes, eating a healthy diet, avoiding tobacco, alcohol, and drug use, exercising regularly, treating coronary artery disease before it worsens. Individuals with a family history of heart disease, a congenital condition, or a history of heart attacks should be extra cautious. Seek immediate medical attention if symptoms suddenly worsen. You gain 1 to 2 kg 2 minus 4 pounds in a day or two, indicating fluid buildup. By following a healthy lifestyle and taking preventive measures, we can reduce the risk of heart failure and maintain good health. Until the next video, 
Take care and stay healthy.